I was going to change out my purse. I'm going to change it over to a purse that I've kind of missed and I haven't been using. And right after I bought it, it was like this purse I had to have, right? It doesn't that, isn't that always the case? How y'all doing? And then I didn't use it for like, I think I used it a week. And I haven't used it for like weeks and weeks, months maybe. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Okay, so before I switch to it, I'll show you the current one that I am in. This is my Christmas purse. This is my long chomp. And I do love it. I'll be using this a lot, but I just wanted to use the other one. And so I am going to change it out into this purse. I'm not quite sure how to say this. Modulu, it's from England. And people call it the Pippa purse because um, she wore it, and as soon as she wore it, it sold out. Well, I must have got it before it sold out. And I think also that happened with Meghan Markle. She, sh she had a purse in her hand. And it sold out in an hour or something like that. Isn't it funny how certain people wear something? And we just got to have it. I'm one of them. I'm one of them. So don't, I can't cross. Um, oh, and here's the makeup pouch I was going to use for that. Now, here's the thing. I don't know why I did that. Because I hopefully can just transfer over uh, my um, organizer. Now, sometimes, some organizers, it doesn't work. Here's the purse. Again, I do love this purse, y'all. It's just beautiful. It's just beautiful alligator imprint. Modulu? Is that how you say it? Modulu? 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 I don't know. Beautiful uh, hardware, gold hardware. Um, nice. Oh, the zipper pulls have little seashells on them. I wonder if that has something to do with it. They have little screws. That's pretty serious. And then it has a really nice strap and nice strap hardware. Nice long shoulder strap. And it also has um, two zipper compartments. There's two zipper pockets in the front, two zipper compartments, and then you can also get it down the center. Now, what I would say is I would just put, you know, pull out my little stuffing. What is Louis Vuitton stuffing doing in here? <laughs> I guess because I didn't have Mojo Lee. So I am. I'm just going to take this out of this purse, just show you how easy it is and put it straight down the middle of this one. And then I probably just won't use the, um, now this one's all floppity on me because it doesn't have an organizer in it. Now here's the question, can this make it down in here? I don't want to hurt this bag. Sometimes when you're putting in an organizer, you have to put it in kind of nose first and then work its way down like that. And that is what I just ended up doing. It made it. I can barely move because this purse is falling on me. Look, at it's floppity. It has to have an organizer in it. Oh, and look what else is in here. Okay, so here's the first what's in my purse. I'll show you that in a minute. Do I have anything in the little side pockets? Let me feel. Make sure I don't put anything in the little side pockets. Oh, I didn't know about that side pocket. I wonder what that's for. I didn't use it. I do love this bag, y'all. I mean, I really love it. What is that? Oh, it's, it's a little long chomp tag to prove it's real. It is. Okay, so I'm going to move on. <laughs> So what's in my purse? Now that you have seen this purse, again, um, it's easy just to put in the crux of an arm. Oh, wow. Look on the back. See, I, I need to wear this more. It's got a zipper pouch back here you could put something in. Like maybe receipts or bills or something or maybe your cell phone. Because you've already got so much pockets right here, you could put it right in there. Just stick your cell phone down in there. It's so pretty. A lot of times we don't like to do that. Or just use one of these zipper pouches. Oh my gosh, look at all the room in this thing. <laughs> Two zipper pouches and all this room in the middle. Not to mention it has, I'm sure it would have somewhere in here. I don't see any. Is it maybe in the other one? A zipper pouch inside. Let's see, does it? Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. So this is where you put your cell phone. It's got a zipper pouch right there and then two zip, um, zipper, yeah, pocket right there and then two zipper, uh, two pocket pouches there. So yeah, that's where you can put it, all that. I didn't even notice is there a um, thing for your keys. Okay, so what's in my purse? It's going to be just massive. Okay, so I didn't even use this. I don't need to, but it, this is pretty because it's got gold trim and it's see-through so you could see it. So if I didn't want to use 
my organizer, which I always pretty much do. I could just put basic makeup in here and drop that down in the middle and then maybe put my wallet here and my phone there. I could have. I may change my mind and do that. I suddenly feel very hot. I have not felt good lately. Okay, so let's just do this. First and foremost, my key ring. I went nuts with, when, uh, I don't already always have all of these on here, but let's just go through them. I love this beautiful um, silk um, ribbon. I got this at, um, it's called, what's it say? Piece of Thread is the name of the little brand. And it's this beautiful kind of peachy pink and then kind of, um, on that side it's kind of peachy pink and then a light pink. And as you come over it goes into like a, a goldeny green and then gold and peachy pink and dark pink and then gold and green and dark green. And then this light pink. It's just very, very pretty. And this kind of got this that dark green in the middle. And it's just a good, you know, wrist one. And so on it, I have my little um, Louis Vuitton card holder. And I think it's called the Eclay. And in that, I put my driver's license, my number one credit card, and my health card, and a 20. It's my emergency 20. And that's all that goes in there. And that's all my key ring. Also on my key ring is my house key, which is a Hello Kitty house key. And then my princess charm for my bestie. Those little hearts and flowers. It's a Brighton, I believe. Um, my little fox. My little rhinestone fox, because I'm a fox. I'm just kidding. And then this is my detachable, um, this unhooks. And this is also from Brighton. And the butterflies from Brighton. And that is my car, you know. Um, remote key. You don't have to like start it. You've got the finger button to start it. But you have to have it in your purse. And then this was a really neat coach um, bag tag or keychain piece that's got stars. Some are uh, pink rhinestones. Some are um, just outlined. And then some are white rhinestones. And I had a friend at work give that to me for helping her with a project. And I'm like, you didn't have to do that. And she just said, I just wanted to thank you. And I'm like, well, I'll take it. But anyway, all right, and then this key is kind of like an antique bronze, and it's got, um, it, on the key it says love on one side and faith on the other, and I love that. And then it's got the Ten Commandments, five on one side, five on the other, and just a good reminder. Also, this is another one I got recently in a, a life study we did where it's got scriptures to focus on for the week, and I thought that was good for me to keep up for a while. And then, y'all know I love butterflies because they're a sign of chain, being a changed person. It's got a, a cross on it, this turquoise and rhinestone. And then there's another turquoise butterfly with a little rhinestone. And on this side it says, faith is being sure of what we hope for. And that's uh, Hebrews 11, 1. And then um, here's another hope. I'm about hope, as y'all know. There's the hope anchor. This little anchor. Where is it? Right there. And then on this side it's also an anchor. And on this side of the the medallion it says we have this hope as an anchor for the soul firm and secure Hebrews 619 that's one of my life verses and I love it um, is that all that's on here I think that's it the only thing about having a fun keychain like this it's easy to find things but it's heavy I could have taken a whole hour just on that okay what do I have I have my hand cream from Karen and this is in red cocoa treatment, uh, red cocoa, and it's a hand treatment. I absolutely love this, and highly recommend you get it. Um, my Chanel hand cream I also have. It's very little is left. Look, it's dirty even. Very little is left of this. They have switched over to the palm size one, and I really like this better. I think it's a different product. It's called uh, Le Mat Bat or something like that. It's French, and this is called Body Excellence Nourishing and Rejuvenating Hand Cream by Precision Chanel. I love this. I hate it that they looks like they're getting rid of it. Another Chanel product I keep in here at all times is my Hydra Beauty uh, Essence Mist. It's just a refreshing spray. I could use it right now. I always shake it. You don't need to shake it, y'all. Like when I'm feeling a little nauseated or faint or hot or just set your makeup or just to hydrate. Uh, if you're feeling sleepy you need to wake up, it's a good thing to do instead of eat food or drink coffee. I've got this little baby size Purology Color Stylist Super Control Hairspray. I've got, okay, let me get all these out. Makeups. Okay, two of the same color, Beth. You don't have to have two. Oh, no, that's what I'm wearing right now, Central Rose. And 
I'm trying to take this to my local, I guess Nordstrom, and try to find this color. And then uh, Soft Rose, y'all know I always have it. And then this is for my eyebrows. This is the Alme Intense Eye Color in number uh, Black Raisin 004. Sometimes it says Rose Quartz. It just always has different names in that weird. And then I've got a TARDIS because on um, eyeliner because on one side it's got for the waterline a crayon um, that's like a gel roll up long wear crayon. And then on the other side it's got a uh, wet liner like. But it's a felt tip instead of a brush tip so I don't like it as much as say I do this. My DHC Liquid Eyeliner EX which is a brush tip. But it's kind of cool that it has both in one for keeping in the purse. Sometimes I keep that uh, extra of that. Um, I have been liking this Maybelline Rocket Volume Express, and I'm probably going to go to the drugstore. Going to get another one of these today. I need to go to the drugstore. Is that all of those? Okay, and then on the other side of this little pouchy thing, let's see what I've got. Way too many pens. I, I always like to have one of these. This is the Pentel Energy. I'm sorry. Inner Gel Liquid Gel Ink. I like that for using for my planner. I don't really need this one. That was from Women at Risk, which um, that's www.warinternational.org. And war stands for Women at Risk. And if you want to get involved in something that helps people get out of sex trafficking and on with their lives as best as possible, help them get into rescue and recovery, get involved in warinternational.org. Um, this is a pen my sister gave me. I'm going to put that one out. Um, this is a little extra uh, file. It's a little small file from Bath & Body Works, and I keep this one for friends who say, do you have a fingernail file? I don't really believe in sharing my fingernail file because it's like trading skin cells, dead skin cells. I'm like, no. But in case someone asks, I'll let them have this one, and then I'll go buy another one because I'm don't. i like, keep it. Um, but for me, I keep this little, um, I don't even know what brand this is, but it's one of the metal ones. I also have a diamond one that I use. We're probably fixing to go on overtime here, y'all. You know, one thing I think would be helpful if I just had this out and showed it to you, even though it was a little bit of a pain to get in here, I'm going to take it back out. And I want to kind of show you 